Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you're all keeping well. I thought I'd pop on and show you um, some of the sketchbook now as I've been working hard um, and uh, try and explain to you a little bit about it, about how it moved on to the neurographic art and, uh, and other things that I like to do and what I've put in here. So you've all seen that I've covered this book and uh, how I did it, uh, there was a video showing you how I did it, but I just thought I'd show you um, three quarters of the way through now. So here were some experiments that I did, um, ab some abstract from the church where I went to, so um, going into the churchyard and how that um, things led on to other things, that's what I wanted to explain. So this one, like here, the abstract uh, this part here was some, the part that I really liked and I wanted to elaborate on that in which I did. Um, so this was obviously the church door, this particular door meant a lot to me at the time. So the parts that I just pointed out I put together and did them lots of other times on, on, the, on another page here. Uh, different ways round and you know it was a mark in the mark making that I really liked and um, I wanted to bring that into my work and slowly without realising it it was getting more and more neurographic and um, yes I really enjoyed it here are two pieces together uh, but separated and made this a nice church uh, abstract church and same here, I was fascinated here by the church window and uh, the wall in and the mark making that I did underneath this. So another way of doing it. And of course, then I wanted to look closely at the church windows and the stained glass windows that really, really appealed to me. I think it's really sad that this particular church has got, um, he's got the windows are actually they're not boarded up but they freight they're uh, they've got like metal meshing in front of them so obviously they've been damaged in the past so um it's important that you know that they're kept secure and safe now so this was one of the first trees that i did this tree was a tree in the churchyard and uh, and then I did neurographic lines over the top to make it more of a neurographic tree and added runners and splatters to my work. This was the another angle of the church and again I separated it, I quite like that and, uh, and I used splatters and started moving my work around a little bit more to add a little bit of movement that would add around the church rather than it being just staying straight as it is. This was just literally the straight painted uh, of the church from across the road when I saw it. But I was really interested in the stained glass windows and that's what this one was. Uh, I put a video up on how I did this and uh, again these were uh, gridded off um, paintings that was cut up and then there was marked on top and then and uh, stuck into the book. And then I started to move on to neurographic work, which, which made me help to make me relax. And it, it also reminded me of the stained glass windows, which was something that I really want to um, emphasize and really look into. So that was the one of the first neurographic pictures that I did. And then I went on to this one, and there's a video of this one showing you how I did it. And the next one I don't like doing double pages like this because they always clash with each other and they were separate um, this was more about movement and feeling and getting that movement by spreading the uh, ink across and uh, and splatters and things and then neurographing over the top using neurographic lines again using neurographic lines in here and then blocking in in real neurographic, they, they uh, tell you not to block it in and to go over a few sections at a time. But this is neuro neurographic art, so um, it's it's a bit different. Again, um, this was another one gridded off, so and then cut up. When I say gridded off, there was like a few paintings done that was masking taped down, and then they were um, 
sealed off with masking tape and then I worked on them as though there were six pictures and then eventually cut them down uh, to what I wanted them to do. These, these are the marks that I really liked and so I put them in the sketchbook because then these are what you can put into paintings when you think to yourself, oh yes, I liked that grey flower in the background and I loved how the purple came over the top as a swoosh and the white was just a swoosh and then the neurographic lines over the top. I really liked that. And it's just a small little tiny piece like that and it's the same with this one. I liked how the, the neurographic line came fatter and then thinner and showing and thinner lines here and then crossed over lines and that there was all different. And I like the feckling of the um, stamp pad that was used on the back of that just to literally stamp down. And I like the effect that that gave and them to put in the purple swoosh over the top. Well, in that case, it was a runner that I put over the top. But yeah, that's, uh, I enjoyed doing that part. Same with this. I like bringing the orange in. This was another one, exactly the same thing. This was a larger paint cut, painting cut down. I loved the colours, loved everything about it. And it was all just uh, cut up then, again. And then I neurographic, neuro lines over the top. And then my little fairies. So they were stamped in and then I did the neurographic lines over the top and entwined the lines around the, the, the fairies. And then moving on to balls and uh, doing neurographic lines and splatters over the top. You've seen the videos of these. Just wanted to show you out now that they're all stuck in the book and they're all nicely done. And again, it's part of being able to use these in larger paintings now. Um, and But they keep really nice and flat and safe in this book. I like to leave a blank page on the other side if I possibly can because if ever I want to write in there I can but also you know it's not going to smudge then over onto the next painting and I haven't got to worry about fixing it with some um, you know some kind of a clear um, gel or anything like that I, it doesn't matter because it's only going to be going onto this blank page the same here continuing on and here doesn't matter if it marks these pages, you see. And moving on. I like this because I liked this part here, which was very intricate, and I wanted to bring more of this uh, intricacy and detail into my work. But on, actually on this page, I was adding for more space. It's funny how one thing leads to another. Oops, this page is stuck. The glue stuck to it down there. Have to rub that off. And there's the next page. This was meant using up bits and bobs that you've cut the paintings down with, remember? So that they weren't ruined. These were stamped fairies from my fairy stencils, and then I just added balls to them. And then this was done across, the, this colour was done across two pages, and then I added onto it. Um, some ibisopamol and then let the cells come through and yeah and then I was able to go around them and then I knew a graft over the top with new graphic lines over the top and uh, yeah very very enjoyable this one was a neurographica um page and um, this was like part of a course um, of like displaying your feelings and how that you can start off you know with a squiggle you've seen me do it before <coughs> excuse me and you can end up that you can display all your thoughts and all your feelings off the pages and it makes you feel a lot better inside i really love this piece this was back to neuro art again just experimenting with colour and, and running in with watercolour and things like that and uh, putting all lines in and splatters. This was the latest painting that I did and then cut it up. Um, I think the ideal thing is if you put them in your sketchbook and you can still advertise these as paintings and if anybody wants them or likes them, you know, they can just go straight on to... Um, you can still just cut them straight out and then you can literally just um, put put your 
border over them, put them in the sealed envelopes, and um, you can try and sell them if you want. These, uh, just because it's glued in, they're, they're only glued in loosely and they easily can be taken out, or you can just cut the page out and use that as a backing page. Another good way and reason for leaving your back page blank, because then it gives you chances, like I say, you might need to use that, you might need to cut it out if somebody was interested in buying one. So you can frame these and picture them and then st and still advertise them if you wanted. I'm not really bothered about doing that. I'm just going to keep mine in my sketchbook for my own learning. Because like here I was working, I wanted more space. And I love the lines that have gone in between. And I love how this this here, it gives it like this... Um, it's on. It's a, It's running in of the watercolor, but because I've done it on top of the, um, I've done it on top of gesso. It like puggles, not too much, but just enough to be able to swirl it around, and it gives it just a lovely effect all on its own. It almost looks like water, and it puggles, and it dries lovely. In in true um, normal, um, when you think about it in normal uh, watercolour painting, you're advised not to do that. But because this is abstract art and it's neurographic with the lines and the connections and everything, I wanted to do that and it gave it a nice effect of like a pool look. But again, all looking very good ideas for doing um, stained glass windows still. This wouldn't be a very good stained glass window but this part would so you have to think about those things with the thicker with the thicker lines going around here it, that's the sort of feeling that you get is the stained glass window look from that part there but as soon as you come down here obviously it comes becomes more neurographic um yeah and it's the same here look if that if the lines weren't coming across here that again would be very much stained glass window effect and um, it's like it's just made it all really lovely same here again neurographic windows and um, and I really and I really like that feeling as well of stained glass window and it gives me an idea to have a go at a stained glass window now whether I get the chance to ever do that or what I don't know but I just thought I'd show you how far I've come in this book this was just a neurographic um, little painting that I did. I literally did a few circles, just drew around them and some freehand ones and then just filled them in and then pulled off the neurographic lines coming away from them. Again, displaying a little bit of tension and, and uh, relieving of a bit of tension. And believe you me, it rarely does work. So um, I think that that's as far as I've got. I've still got all these pages to go and yet it's really quite full. I thought I'd just pop on and, and show you um so far how it's all been going and I hope you like I hope you like it. Oh yes, I missed this page. This was from having COVID, wasn't it? Can you remember when I said to you that like how it builds up, it builds up and it gets to the worst part here and then gradually all displays out into your body and, and seems to come away and I did this over a few days while I was really genuinely poorly with um COVID and um but it really works you know the the tension and knowing that it was slowly as i was going through the stages it was slowly releasing in um into my system and, and coming away it was a really really nice feeling so um yes i really like that um so um, i could feel myself getting better and as i did it got less and less and less and coming from here too so yes i hope that you've enjoyed this little um sketchbook tour it's not like a normal sketchbook tour but at least you're given a little idea of what i've been doing and um, out of these in this book i do like this one i like this one i'm not so thrilled with this area here but i like how i did this which was half light um drawn with an ink pen um an ink fountain pen and uh, the colors behind were completely abstracted so it gave it movement in the sky and these were supposed to be the trees but um, I lost interest if I'm being honest and um, I didn't you know a little bit of collage there would go well actually so I just thought I'd come on and show you and uh, I hope you're enjoying it all so far and I will talk to you again soon okay then bye